guys. Um, I'm Lacey and that's Bella. I'm Bella. And like we said today, it is going to be a very touchy subject to talk about and trigger warning for whoever. If you are like sensitive, I guess like just be yeah. aware. We're going. We're on the way to my cousin's house, and hopefully, I'm trying to convince him to be in um, our vlog because we're gonna. I think we're gonna might vlog today a little bit. And just post it on Monday. So I'm just gonna jump right into it because there's nothing I can really like get to sugarcoating or anything. But um, uh, about five months ago, I caught a really really bad head cold. And I, what happened was I was hanging out with a friend and I was just being crazy and like throwing my head around and everything. And I got like, my head started hurting like super duper bad. So, and it was really weird cause I was super nasally and stuff. So my mom took me to the doctor. They didn't really know like what was up. So they subscribed me z -Pack. And to be honest, I still think I probably had like a minor concussion or something like whiplash kind of. Um, because I'll insert a video now. That's how like much I was like flailing my head around and stuff. I think I said this before in one of our videos, but I have severe anxiety, like really bad anxiety. Z pack, like I was fine for about two or three days and then fourth or fifth day um let me just get you back to where how this thought came into my mind and everything i seen a 12 year old girl in georgia she ended up she killed herself on live like live i think it was like i don't know if people like saw it or anything but i seen it and um I'm a super like sensitive person to that stuff and it bugs me whenever I see stuff like that and like stuff sticks with me so I'll think about it like all the time. So I was already like thinking about it and like grieving basically on this girl because I felt so bad for her and what she had to go through and everything. Well the fifth night I was on ZPAC um I just I felt so off like I just like I didn't feel myself I was super like upset kind of like I was like depressed and I was like and I had a dream that I hung myself and it was like super scary for me because I, I I don't know it's just I have really weird dreams to begin with but I've never had like suicide related dreams and I was like why am I dreaming about this and so that developed into a whole bunch of suicidal thoughts that I had and I will tell you right now that I am not a suicidal person. I've never been like really depressed. I was really, I was going through a hard time in around seventh and eighth grade and I was kind of down and, but I wouldn't call it depressed, but I've never been in this state to where I was like so depressed. I didn't like, I didn't know why I was thinking about this stuff. I was like, anytime I ever seen something like crazy on like TV or something, get like, have the, terrible thought that like I was supposed to do something like that and I wasn't going crazy or anything it was the way my body was reacting to the medicine and it was reacting where it gave me I was super depressed and I had like god it was so bad I had such bad like anxiety and everything I remember I was outside with my little sister and she was playing around and everything and all I could do was just sit there and just be upset and everything. I went to Winter Jam and it helped a lot. It really did. It helped a lot. Um, if you're going through something like this, I would 100% without a doubt talk to somebody at your church because it really, really does help to have God in your life and at least it does with me. My mom looked up on the TV, or not on the TV, on her phone and it said she was like side effects of z-pack and the first thing that popped up was suicidal thoughts depression and anxiety and i was like oh my god this is why like i'm not going crazy because at the time i i didn't know what was wrong with me like i i honestly thought i was like that 
I was just like going crazy or something and like because I see some people like my age go through like they just get depressed randomly and I was like I never want to be like that and I thank God that mine was had to do with a um, allergic reaction and it like I wasn't really like suicidal I ended up getting off of the z-pack and we told my doctor about it and everything but now I can't take medicine with like that a kind of drug in it because it like I do react to it in that way I've been going through like through all these thoughts still um, I don't have them as much anymore but they're still there I want to let you guys know right now I would never do anything to myself no matter how bad the, th the thoughts got my mom and Bella and Bryson were probably the most like there for me and everything and they're the ones that actually like got me through it and told me like you're fine you can just keep going you're strong and everything and I just want to say if you're going through something like this and you've had like thoughts of suicide and all this talk to somebody or DM me on Instagram or something because trust me you don't want to do it alone and if I had to do it alone I I don't know what would have happened honestly because I'm just thank God so much that I have a good support system and everything and DM Bella because Bella's super good with like advice yeah. and stuff <laughs> like that and Bella's been down before also and there was a big point at during this time that I couldn't even fall asleep with light without a light on or like my TV going because I just was like haunted by all these thoughts at night and I just I couldn't go to sleep because they were all they were on my mind and everything but I as of last week I have actually been able to fall asleep without anything on the TV or anything and I've gone to sleep perfectly fine and I haven't been thinking about it at all and I am getting like way better and everything. We just wanted to make this video and the reason why it took us so long to like do it is because I used to get super emotional talking about it but now I feel like I need to be strong for like people out there that are going through something like this and if you are um suicide's never the answer. Um, yeah and like no matter like if you feel like you're alone or something, there's somebody out there that loves like you. Like us. Like, we yeah. love all of you guys. I just want you guys to know that trust in God that everything will be fine and get in with your church. Start praying about it because praying helps so much. And if I didn't have God on my side through all of this, I don't know what would have happened. I am 100% without a doubt God made me go through this situation to where I could talk to people and help other people out with similar situations that they're going through because I know some people are going through this stuff and it's not induced by medicine. It's, they're really like, like that and they're really suicidal and they're really depressed. Stay strong because suicide's never worth it and you can always get through it because I'm a walking example that you can get through it. If you're doing this alone, I don't want you to do it alone. Talk to somebody, talk to some, your mom, your dad, because I'm pretty sure if one, of, if one of your parents heard that you were going through something like this, they would want to get you help. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. Sorry if it triggered any of y'all, and if y'all liked it, comment, please, and subscribe. Bella will link all of our social media down below, and follow us on everything. Um, like I said again, please DM one of us on Instagram if you're feeling some sort of way because we know, I know exactly how you're feeling and Bella has an idea because she's seen the battle I went through. So, yeah guys, thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.